Hello, Hans of Doll Bedsit Blogger here, and I'm cooking the first of Mr. Frizz's chilies. The Guatemalan, just getting the light. Guatemalan ricotto. So there's that. Uh, and I'm going to be cooking it with courgette, shallot, a bit of garlic, some cherry tomatoes and some uh, pine kernels uh, with some uh, pasta. So, um, yeah, the light's not very good in my room at the moment. I've got to sort that out. But, I, yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, get on with chopping stuff up. Oh, there's shallot and garlic frying in there. And I cut up the courgette and the... Uh, Ricotto. So I guess I should really taste a bit of it raw just uh, for shits and giggles and all that sort of stuff. Let's get a little bit of it. There you go. And as you can see, the ricotto and the cotos have black seeds, uh, which is a little family trait. So, uh, I'm going to change camera and we'll uh, we'll taste this. So here I am with a bit of a uh, 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 the there. I got quite a good salady flavour. Quite a bit of uh, sort of tip of the tongue heat, but it's not a slap you around the face hard heat. It's not boom. We're gonna hit you hard with heat. It's quite nice. Very got very thick walls. They're kind of crunchy. A bit like a bell pepper in a way, but with um, with a little bit of nice heat to them. So I'm going to add them into the mix and uh, let's go for it. So there you have. All the ingredients put frying away, and we've also got the uh, sort of pasta bubbling away there. So just got to give that a stir for a bit, and then um, once it's done, we'll add the feta. So we have the uh, the kind of finished thing. I've rushed it a little bit, so I'm just mixing it all together. It's very difficult with one hand because um, so I've got the pasta there and the, the feta in there as well and all that goodness. I must admit I have rushed this one a little bit. I'm, I'm very sorry. No disrespect to you, Mr. Frizz and your marvellous chilli. Uh, but I want to go and go and see the Sumerian Kings down at the uh, the horse and groom so right let's give it a taste mm. so there it is in the bowl a little bit rushed I know um, sorry about that but you know I want to go to a gig and it could be done with a uh, Putting the, um, doing the, the courgettes on a griddle, but I don't have a griddle. I know, first world problem was a wok. But um, I do have a wok, so I woked them to give me a little cook. And um, yes, I can taste the chilli has gone into the, into, the, into the courgettes nicely. And then you get the creaminess of the... Uh, of feta and nuttiness of the pine kernels and guess what I'm going to say about the tomatoes they're tomatoey mm. just right just good for a pre-gig and a couple of pints down at the horse and groom I'll see you later I might see you down at the horse and groom if I do uh, come and see my mate Ben he's doing a special dance they call the jellyfish